Yes. We play together and we help each other when we need. Play piano. Play with them. I like to play games with them. A friend is kind to his other friend. We dance together and laugh together. <laughs> <laughs> Hang out with them and go out with them. A friend is someone who cares about the other friend. A friend would uh, high five of another friend. We go to church and talk to each other. Yes. For the past two lessons, we have learned about friends. Lesson one, we learned that the Bible memory verse is taken from John chapter fifteen, verse fifteen, and it says, "No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends." For all things that I heard from my father, I have made known to you. Yes, children, what did we learn? Why is it important to have friends? Number one, friends add flavor. Number two, friends are worth more than gold. Lesson two, what did we learn? Luke chapter six, verse thirty-one. It says, "Do to others as you want them to do to you." You got to high five. To make new friends, number one, start first by talking to them. Number two, start again. Talk to other people. Number three, listen. Pay attention to what they say. Number four, show care. Care for the person. Number five, be yourself and have fun. That's right. High five to make new friends. So, children. Are you ready for lesson three? Let's go! Welcome to our game show. Can you tell the difference? The good and bad ways to be a friend. So listen carefully to what I say. If you think that it's a good way to a friend, show me a thumbs up. If you think that it's a bad way to be a friend, show me a thumbs up. Contestants, are you ready? Yeah! Let's start. Number one, smile when you see a friend. Number two, run away when you see your friend is crying. Number three, invite a friend to play with you. Number four, share your snacks. Number five, laugh at your friend for making a mistake. Number six, take their stationery without permission. Number seven, give a high five when they try their best. Number eight, remind them to follow the rules when they forget. Number nine. Frown when you see them at school. Finally, pray for them. Wow, boys and girls, you answered so well today. Give yourself a big, big hand. And this is all the time we have for our game show. Remember, don't be a bad friend. Be a good one. Our Bible memory verse tells us. A person with unfaithful friend soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Taken from Proverbs 18 verse 24. Therefore, it is important to have the right friends in our life. Friends can either ruin our life or stick with us through the ups and downs. That's right, children. How can we have good friends? Well, you may want to ask yourself this question: Are you my real friend? What kind of friends would you rather have? A virtual friend or a real physical friend? Let's take a look at this. Becca, have you watched the new Spy X Family episode? Yes, it's very nice. Yeah, I know, right? Maybe one day we can watch it together. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> I feel in my exam. <laughs> It's okay. You can do better next time round. Okay. <laughs> Saka, look! I got second place. Wow, I'm so proud of you! Yay! Oh, are you winning the game? Oh yes, yes, yes. Do you see the enemy is approaching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. It's in the right position. Yes, I'm winning. Yes, yes, yes. I won. 
Wow, boys and girls. So what kind of friends would you rather have? A virtual friend or a real physical friend? Now, who is a virtual friend? A virtual friend is a friend that exists on the internet. You never meet them. Many of us have virtual friends on social media platforms such as WhatsApp, Instagram and even Facebook. Some of us may even have imaginary friends. But children, did you know that virtual or imaginary friends are not real friends? Too much time on social media or games may cause us to neglect or ignore face-to-face -face interactions with friends. Studies have shown that people are getting lonelier because they lack meaningful and in-person friendships. That means that face-to-face -face time with your friends is very important. So remember children, we need to have friends and more importantly, in-person and real friends. Hello Ella. Yeah. Today we are going to learn the importance of choosing good friends. We have been learning about the importance of friends. Having real physical friends is important. But what makes a good friend? It is important to know what a good friend is because friends can influence you for better or worse. The Bible warns us, don't let anyone fool you. Bad companions make a good person bad. Taken from 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33. A good person with good manners, characters and habits can be ruined by bad friends. Look at this egg. Let's say this is you and Ella is going to help me to put into this bowl of coloured water which represents friends with bad character. Put it in. Thank you. What happens when you hang out with them all the time, you will become like them. And you see, the egg has turned blue. The egg has become the same colour as the water. When we are constantly with bad company, we will soon talk like them, act like them and think like them. We will be influenced to do bad things. That's why it's important to surround ourselves with good friends. Who is a good friend? Thank you, Ella. Ella, are you ready? A good friend listens. A good friend shares. A good friend plays with you. A good friend laughs with you. A good friend can be trusted. A good friend cheers you on. A good friend helps. A good friend is honest. A good friend is giving. A good friend is kind. A good friend is fun. A good friend is respectful. And a good friend is dependable. All in all, a good friend is three things. What are they, Ella? Number one, one love God. And Number two, keeps God's word. Number, Number three, does good. It is important to have good friends who love God and respect His commandments. Hang around people who love God. It is true that people make mistakes and we can show people the right way. When they do not want to listen, or keep doing the wrong things or encourage you to be rude to your teachers, bully classmates or lie, then it's time to say goodbye to such friends. So, have you found a good friend? Yes! Remember that you can choose your friends. So choose them well. Choose a good friend and be a good friend yourself. Boys and girls, we all need good, real, physical friends who can interact with us face to face for us to be healthy and whole. Do you remember what a good friend is? A good friend is many wonderful things, but most importantly, a good friend helps us to love God, keep His word and to do good. I remember when I was young, it was my friend who brought me to church, who taught me how to pray and taught me how to read the Bible. 
Hence, it is important for you to choose your friends wisely and stay away from bad friends that can ruin us. While we can choose to pray for good friends to come into our life, we ourselves must also be a good friend to others. So boys and girls, let us pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for giving me the choice to choose my friends. I pray that you will give me the wisdom to make wise choices, to choose friends that are good for me. Lord, I also pray that I will be a good friend to others. I pray that we will love you to keep your word and to do good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friendship that lasts forever Always stick with you Through the highs and lows Never giving up Friendship that lasts forever Always choose to love Through the rights and wrongs Love will be enough We love because He first loved us So we show our love to everyone Let's love our neighbor as ours and lows never giving up friendship that lasts forever always choose to love through the rights and wrongs love will be enough we love because he first loved us so we show our love to everyone let's love our neighbor as ourselves love is the key to the Friendship that lasts forever Always oh, stick with you Through the highs and lows Never giving up Friendship that lasts forever Always oh, just to love Through the rights and wrongs